Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they want us to practice converting units to standard units. In part A, they want us to convert 9.12 microseconds, which of course is a unit of time. So to do this, we're gonna treat this like a fraction. Whenever you multiply fractions and they have the same value diagonally from each other, obviously you can cross multiply and simplify. So we know that we want the microseconds to go away, so we'll put this down here, and we want to convert it into the standard units for time, which is just seconds. So now we know that in one microsecond, there is one times 10 to the negative six seconds. So now the microseconds cancel. And when we multiply these across, the seconds are what we're left with. So we're going to have 9.12, times 10 to the negative six seconds. So now if you look at that, all we did is we just replaced the micro with 10 to the negative six. So going forward, whenever we have ones like this, we can just simply understand what micro means and replace it, and that is now in standard units. So let's go on to part B. They want us to change 3.42 kilometers and in standard units, that's just going to be meters. So if we treat this like a fraction, we know we want the kilometers to go away and we want it to be in standard units for distance, which is meters. So in one kilometer, there is a thousand meters. So now we're just multiplying 3.42 by a thousand. So we'll move the decimal place over three. So one, two, three. So that gives us three, four, two, zero meters. In the same fashion that we did in part A, we can replace kilo with what it stands for, which is 10 to the third. So putting it in scientific notation, it is also correct to say that this is 3.42 times 10 to the three meters. Part C, we're converting 44 centimeters per millisecond. So this one's a little bit trickier but we're going to use the exact same principles. So we know we want centimeters to cancel and standard units for distance, as we just talked about is meters. So in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. So now the centimeters go away and we're left in meters, but milliseconds is not in standard units. We want just seconds. So we want the milliseconds to go away. So we'll put it diagonally from that and in we want seconds down here. Okay, so in one millisecond, we know there is one times 10 to the negative three seconds. So now we can just plug this into our calculator with 44 divided by 100 divided by one times 10 to the negative three, which gives us 440, 440 meters per second, or if we put it into scientific notation, we'll have one, two, so we'll have 4.4 .4 times 10 to the two meters per second. And lastly, for part D, we want to convert 80 kilometers per one hour. And so standard units for this is again in meters per second. So let's do the time first, so we'll want the hours to go away and we want to go to minutes. So hours cancel, we're in kilometers per minute, but we need seconds, not minutes. So we know in one minute, there is of course 60 seconds. So now minutes will cancel. Now we're in kilometers per second. So now let's convert the kilometers to meters and we know in one kilometer, there are 1,000 or 10 to the three meters. So now we have 80 divided by 60 to put that into minutes, divided by 60 to put it into seconds, and then multiply it by 1,000 to put it in meters per second. And that gives us a velocity of 22 0.22 meters per second or rounded 22 meters per second.